In this video, we're going to do a couple of examples involving uh, maximizing area with a given amount of fencing. So the two examples we do here will be relatively uh, similar. In the first one, a farmer has 600 meters of fencing and wants to enclose a rectangular field, but one side of the field's against a county road that's already fenced. So the farmer really only needs to uh, fence the remaining sides and wants to enclose the maximum area, use all the fencing. So what we can do is we can see here from the uh, diagram that we have that um, we, we don't need fencing along the road. So we really only need three sides worth of fencing. And those three sides needs to total 600 uh, meters. So if we let each of these uh, two sides circled here be width and this other side be the length, we see that L plus 2W will equal 600. Now, um, eventually we're going to have a formula for area of the rectangle, which is length times width, but we don't want to have two variables there. So we're going to isolate for L in the first equation we get and say L is 600 minus 2W. And that's going to allow us to substitute that in um, so that instead of saying L times W, we can say 600 minus 2W times W. And since we only have one independent variable, we'll use the function notation that we're used to. And we'll say A of W is 600 minus 2W times W. After a couple lines of simplifying, we see that that's the same as negative 2W squared plus 600W. Now, at this point, we recognize we could use quadratic principles from grade 11 or 10 to solve the problem. But let's uh, proceed with the um, method that we've been talking about in previous uh, lessons and videos, uh, which is actually allows us to use them in non-quadratic scenarios as well. So um, we have our formula for area. We have only one independent variable. We're quite happy with that. Let's discuss the domain. Now we see our independent variables w. You can tell kind of just by looking that theoretically it would be possible to make a rectangle with an extremely small, virtually zero width and a, and a very long length. Now it wouldn't make much sense obviously for a farmer to do that, but we can see that theoretically our um, width could be virtually zero. Now, in order for us to determine the maximum width, what we could do is use a similar uh, line of thinking with our length. Our maximum width is going to correspond with our minimum length. So if it's not easy to tell what our maximum width is just by looking, it might be easier to think in terms of minimum length. Using the same strategy we did a minute ago, we could say, well, our length could be, you know, virtually zero. If we did that, we could use our formula we had on a previous uh, slide that said L plus 2W is 600. If we sub then a length of zero there, we'd say zero plus 2W is 600, which means W would be 300. So letting our length be its minimum value of virtual zero, we see that our width would be its maximum value of 300. So we're going to let our domain be zero less than or equal to W less than or equal to 300. Okay. And so um, now someone might say, well, instead of saying less than or equal to, I would just say less than. And um, that is, uh, that's an okay way of doing it as well. Okay. Now in the slide here, you can freeze it if you want to read. It just goes into a little bit more detail what I said a moment ago about how letting the uh, uh, length be the minimum will correspond to the width being a maximum. So this slide is a further explanation of how the domain is set at what it is. Um, so we get to this uh, equation though ultimately that A of W is negative 2W squared plus 600W. And now we see that uh, zero less than or equal to W less than or equal to 300. What we're gonna do is uh, set this derivative equal to zero. So negative four W plus 600 equal to zero. And we'll see that uh, W is 150. Now at that point, we see that we've got a couple of N values of our domain, zero and 300. We also have a value in between those that sets the derivative equal to zero. 
So our algorithm tells us to sub each of those values in uh, to the area formula. So A at 0 would be 0, A at 150 would be 45,000, and A at 300 would be 0. So the maximum possible area in this scenario is 45,000. Now, the question specifically asked for the dimensions, not the area itself. So we say to ourselves, okay, a width of 150 was what achieved our goal. If uh, it said here, a width of 150 gets us that, uh, my pen seems to have frozen here. But we see the, here that a width of 150 got us our maximum area. And so since L plus 2W is equal to 600, it's easy to determine that our length should be 300. And so we can uh, write an appropriate therefore statement. Okay. Now, a very similar question is uh, shown here. Uh, what if we put a uh, another uh, line of fencing here? Perhaps there's, you know, cows on one side and horses on the other. Well, if that was the case, then um, we would have, uh, as it's shown here, one length but three widths. So L plus 3W would be 600. And so L would be 600 minus 3W, uh, ultimately leading us to an area formula of 600W minus 3W squared. But um, our domain would no longer be 0 less than or equal to W less than or equal to 300. It would actually become 0 less than or equal to W less than or equal to 200. Because um, our maximum value for W would have to be 200 because um, if we let the length be its minimum value of zero, we would need three W to equal 600, which means uh, W would be 200. So um, our area formula is uh, 600 W minus three W squared, or as it says here, negative three W squared plus 600 W. Uh, we have a domain of zero less than or equal to W less than or equal to 200. If you put zero less than W less than 200, it'll be okay. Because in this question, those N values, it's important to sub them in, but they'll be there. They won't provide the maximum area, but what they'll do is they'll establish for us that um, the area we deem to be the maximum is in fact the maximum and not the minimum. So anyways, we have this uh, formula right here and we set the first derivative equal to zero and solve for W. When we do that, we get W equal to 100. And then we take our uh, domain N values of 0 and 200, as well as the value of 100 that's in between. We sub each of them into the area formula. And we see that when the width is 100, the area of 30,000 is a maximum. And so the maximum possible area is 30,000 meters squared. And um, this particular question did not ask us for dimensions. It just asked for the maximum possible area. And so we have answered the question.